we are back in Spain. You can probably get that straight away because there hasn't been any sun in England since the middle of the year, I don't believe. <laughs> you can see the sun in the background. I am back over to do some more testing. Sad times though. I'm on my Jack Jones. Neil is not here. Neil's had to stay at home because he's got some work to do in the company. So he's not been fit to come, which he doesn't watch these anyway, so I can say it. Upsets me greatly. I do love having him here as much as I take the piss out of him. And I'm going to be lost without him. So back to Almeria again. I've been to the airport today. Well, I've obviously flown over this morning, planning on starting this vlog with all this, like the start of the trip and all that hoo ha. But got to the airport in a bit of a flap. Then the flight was delayed. So then I was pissed off. And then when I got off the plane, I had to go sort out picking up my van and things like that there. So it's starting now in the services on the side of the motorway. I'm about an hour into the journey. I've got another hour to go. But I'm going to go straight to the track this evening because obviously all the stuff we put in the compound at the track, I need to go get that all back out get that sorted ready for the morning rather than doing it in the morning and just flapping and then realizing something's not ready so that's the plan i'm going to go to the track now get all that stuff out get ready and get set up for tomorrow and then go and have a romantic meal for one on my own tonight probably at some point i'm going to take you guys with me and see if i can manage to do this on my own uh, without having my backside wiped back to the same track day company as we've used before so I'll chuck their link link in the description below um, But I'm looking forward to this. I feel a lot better than what I did the last time I'm not gonna lie I've took a good step in the old body <laughs> Since then so it's been two weeks. So we got back I was done after the last one got back and I've done quite a lot of training in between It's gonna be really interesting to see first of all how I feel and what the step is and trying not to get carried away but first of all we're going to finish this drive get down to the track and then see what shape our stuff's in when we get there not gonna lie it's definitely not the same without having neil sat there winding in a uh, packet of top biscuits every 10 to 15 minutes yeah we're only half an hour off off the track now why can't the weather be like this in england for anyone wondering it's 25 past no 20 past five in the evening something else we've got to mention for all these people that give off at me all the time about wearing my seatbelt change man it's not that i didn't want to wear the seatbelt it's that it rubbed like mad on my shoulder that was already in agony so i used to have it tucked under my arm and you just didn't see it so but i couldn't be bothered to try and explain that so that was the situation but yeah we're finally at the track now so i'm gonna go get the bike out of the compound all the spares and stuff i'm not gonna bring the camera down there just out of respect that there's a lot of other people's stuff in there so the last thing they want is to be showing that off on youtube and stuff just for not saying any of you folk are dodgy but yeah we don't want to be putting that on oh my days is that a horse box or a race truck jesus christy sees this look at that so I'm going to jump out now, get cracked on, try and get everything into the garage and stuff and then catch you guys in a second. That's us pretty much sorted, I've got everything out, bike's pretty much ready to go, we're just going to, need to come put the warmers on and stuff in the morning. Got a set up in the corner. Thanks again to Bray that, that stores the bike and stuff for me, he's given me a bit of a hand to, to go get it and brought the stuff up on a pallet and stuff. And I've still got the rest of my tyres and stuff in the back of the in the back of the van. Does anyone else ever pack the van and then throw shit back in and think, how the f*** did I fit all of that in when half of it seems to fill the van now? That's what I'm thinking right now. That's us all sorted. I'm gonna go, I've set, I made a little list. I need to get my brain out of my leathers, you know, the thing that runs the airbag suit. I need to take that out, charge that, and bring some jerry cans home, fill them, and I think that's it. But I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll realize in the morning if I forgot something and then it'll be too late, yeah. I'm gonna go do that now and then go get some tea, get to the house, get myself sorted. Right, so I guess I've miscalculated this a little bit. So I've just got back to the village thinking I was gonna to go to the supermarket and forgot that we're in Spain and everything's been shut on a Sunday. So the restaurant even beside it's closed, the supermarket's closed and I'm, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna to have to go on a bit of an adventure to try and find somewhere to eat. Christy's currently on the phone trying to explain to me what to do. So just chanted in there, Christy. Just 
Yeah, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be open, but then you insisted that. Yeah, there's one little dodgy-looking restaurant still open, so I'm just gonna go in there, I think, and um, take my chances. Oh, dark. The camera can't even focus on me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in there and take my chances. Sit down there. I'm gonna zoom in. That's where we're going. So if I get food poisoning. Don't go there. Just got back to the house after having tea. Don't think we've got food poison, I just got some fish. It's pretty decent, but I said earlier that I had to charge the brain in my leathers, and for anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's this little box here. So if you've got an RST suit, you've probably got one of these in it. This is the little thing. I'm looking at the, sorry, the side of the camera because that's where the screen is. This is the little thing that activates the airbox system. Airbox? Airbag system. <laughs> I'm tired. Airbag system. So you just plug, you can take it out, charge it. Probably charge it in, but I think it's easier charging it out. It just plugs them back into the back of my hump and then I, that works the whole system. So if I charge it now, that'll easily do me the three days that I'm here. So it's easier just to do it that and then I don't forget like halfway through and it doesn't go, doesn't go flat and stuff. So yeah, I'm just sorting out my kit. But this was all. I left all this over here from the last test. So everything's pretty much ready to go. I just need to get this done and um, that's just ready for the morning. So I'm gonna get a shower and stuff, get to bed, do some stretching and I'll see you guys in the morning. Now the next morning we obviously didn't get a chance, thank you, get a chance to uh, go to the supermarket last night because the supermarket was closed. So I've literally popped into a little, <laughs> I'll show you when I get out, it's like proper little Spanish thing. I've somehow managed to order a coffee and some things. Uh, Scramble eggs and toast. I think that's what I've ordered, so yeah. Coffee looks good though. Let's see what comes. Oh, I think I'm basically fluent in Spanish now, look. Survive out here on my own, no, no bother. Don't even need me. Right, see. Doesn't get much more Spanish than this, I don't think. Gracias. This is where we're at. Last time I was here, there was a dude, um, I don't fucking zoom in, living in this caravan. I don't know if he's still there or not. He's got the job all combed off. Right, little spot. Beach is literally just over there. You see the sea? It's the sea there. So, yeah. He's got a right pad. Might be the Irish version of you know what in Spain. <laughs> Hi guys. Got nothing to give you. Huh? Just been eating one of your eggs. Yeah thanks very much it was lovely. Right bud? Don't peck my screen. It's still only like not even eight o'clock so gonna get my way to track now. These track days don't start till what on earth is that? I think it killed something. Yeah, so first session's not until 10. Get there nice and early, get sorted out. Probably a little bit excited because, well, not excited, nervous because I'm doing it myself. A lot of you are probably gonna say, oh, I go on track days on myself all the time. Don't need anyone. What's he whining about or what's he moaning about? You have to bear in mind, right, I started racing and my dad looked after me. And then I went from my dad looking after me to riding for teams. So I've never really had to do it. Therefore, I don't have a lot of confidence in what I actually do. I, can, I don't mind, like, tinkering with older bikes and messing around. But I'm not then doing 180 or 90 mile an hour on them, wrecking them around the track. Do you know what I mean? So it's a completely different thing. So if you're wondering why I'm a bit worried about being here on my own, that's why. I've never had to, I've never had to do it. And I find, well, I sound a bit daft even saying that, but yeah, that's that's the fact. So this does not happen to me very often. The last time I went anywhere on a track day on my own, I can't even remember. It was probably like on a Whitham day or something. Even then, there's people there to help me out. So um, yeah, if that's what the case is. Just got to the track. Uh, just getting set up and stuff. The tire warmers on, need to change the wheels. Bear with me on doing this on the vlog because I'm, I'm flapping a bit with like doing it myself. So the last thing I want to do is make a mistake, worrying over uh, getting content. So, but yeah, so just got everything set up, got my leathers and stuff sorted. Gonna go now and sign on and get out and spin some lap, which is, the excitement never changes. Do you know what I mean? I think people think, oh, cause something's your job or whatever. But you get here in the sun, you can see the weather. Absolutely glorious. Getting the ride with motorbike. What more could you want? So we've done a couple of sessions now, a lot better than two weeks ago. I'm actually like physically sounds weird, but strong enough now to be able to break a sweat, do you know what I mean? Because before I couldn't muscle the bike enough. 
to even breaks <laughs> so we're going a lot better lap times a little bit better as well but the actual consistency of how many and what we're doing and the feeling on the bike i feel a bit more at one with the bike so really really happy yeah, i've done a couple of sessions so i tried to do some onboard stuff in the first session but the file got encrypted or whatever the hell it's called so if christy's already put it in then it worked but i'm gonna go again and try another one if it hasn't been in yet that's why dinner time now had a good few sessions been over and had something to eat second plan of today is that I have brought some different rear sets and stuff out of me that I want to try just for the position so the bike that I'm riding now we bought off Honda UK so it was like Glen Irwin's bike or McGuinness's super stock bikes and Honda makes their own rear sets and stuff so they're literally one fixed position so I can't move them but I wanted to move them so Spider, the company that we deal with now for all the other bikes have sent me out some stuff to try it's going to get dark here in a second I think. the next plan of attack is to try these so the next plan of attack is to try and put these on because I want to try basically yeah the, I think the, the ones that I'm on now are a little bit too far back they're a bit longer so this is what I mean by like a fixed position that's what's on the bike. I'm gonna put these spider ones on, see how that feels and what it does. Because this track's like really right-handed, like long right corners, and that's the part of my femur that I broke as well. So it's like really overloading it, so I'm just trying to take a bit of the load off that and see. I'm trying to put this on and see how it feels. Uh, excuse the language, I've just crashed. I don't know yet, I'm just, well, just looking at the bike to see what damage I've done. I've done a decent amount. Not crazy big stuff, but obviously I don't have absolutely everything here with me. I've got body work and stuff. The tank's dented, but I don't know if it's cracked. I've got my brake reservoir. I don't know if I've got one of them. And my air scoop's damaged, so I don't know if I've got one of them. Other than that, the other things, I've got body work and stuff, but this is not what I wanted. Yeah. Shit. Don't really know what to say, but that's going to be the end of this vlog. I haven't even got a chance to put my rear sets on yet. Sorry for swearing. Seriously pissed off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check in the next vlog and see what happens. Right, I am back home now. As you can see, I'm in the garage at the house. So, 
<laughs> I need to fill you in what actually happened. The bike wasn't able to be fixed. There was dash around, meant that we couldn't run with the dash, without the dash. Top yoke was damaged, so that was the biggest thing, chassis wise, the top yoke. A few other little bits and pieces, but we've had to come back. It didn't end up in disaster. We got a bike off a really nice bloke that had a few bikes in his trailer. Typical track day goer. He gave me a really nice R1 to ride. So I did the final day on that bike, so I got full, full extra days. Basically, we only missed one session on the end of the second day, so it wasn't a disaster. I didn't hurt myself in any way whatsoever, apart from damaging the bike and stuff. That was the only downside or the bad outcome to it all. But when we've come back, it was literally just before Christmas, so we were stressing for getting parts. But in this box here behind me, there's some brake pads there, but we've got everything now that we need. In the next vlog now, me and Neil's going to go back to Spain. He's coming with me this time to fix the bike. <laughs> We're going to go back to Spain, fix the bike, ride the bike again before then taking the bike home. So come check that out on the next vlog. Thanks again for watching this, guys. The, the support means a lot. And I think now at least after crashing, we know that we're not made of glass. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. Parts, I got them off Clive Paget because he was the only person that I could get them things at like a day before Christmas. So big thanks out to Paget and Clive for shorting that out when pretty much no one else could. So thanks, guys.